There are four screens in front of me. In two, lawyers dressed in suits. In the third, a judge in a robe. Then, a person in an orange jumpsuit, hands cuffed behind his back. I'm watching a bail hearing. Within two days of someone's arrest, they are brought before a judge like this one, who will decide whether they'll be released or incarcerated in jail while their case proceeds. These decisions can mean life or death, and they are made within minutes, with little information. All over the country, thousands of people go through these hearings each day, as if in a national assembly line of injustice. But in a growing number of places, people are beginning to hold actors accountable by showing up in court and documenting what they see. We are here, and we are watching. Injustice happens in empty courtrooms. Her first day court watching, Carmen was nervous. The trauma of her own incarceration had stripped her of her voice. She was here to take it back and be the ally she never had. Honestly, I knew I had to be a court watcher because words that are spoken are only in the air. Words that are recorded remain for all to see. Carmen sat in court for six hours that day, watching and writing, witnessing everyday injustices, large and small, all consequential. This principle of courts open to the public was inscribed in the Constitution by the nation's founders, who themselves suffered injustice behind closed doors during British rule. But the demands of modern life and the fast-paced legal jargon used in the courtroom means the public can't truly access what happens in court. There's no check on unseen injustice. Carmen wanted to change that. Through life after release, she was given the freedom to build up Court Watch PG. Along with other court watching groups across the country, it seeks to train a legion of volunteers to attend hearings and learn the language and process of court so that they can take notes, amplify the injustices they witness, and hold power accountable. Anyone, everyone could be trained to Court Watch, even if they knew nothing about the law. When the pandemic hit, the stakes got higher. Even one night in an overcrowded jail could be a death sentence. But in some places, court could now be attended virtually, making it more accessible. Ordinary people from all across the country started volunteering with Court Watch PG. Most had never stepped foot in a courtroom. Carmen explained to them that bond hearings could be a fork in the road, determining not only one person's future, but that of generations of followers. She taught them what to look and listen for in court, and how they could get that information to decision makers and the public. And as they worked, they noticed the ways the system began responding. Prosecutors and judges became aware of their presence. Their accountability letters changed behaviors in the courtroom. Across the country, court watchers are realizing their power. I court watch because the system will not regulate itself without observers to hold it accountable. I've seen judges make jokes at the expense of the people who stand before them. With transparency comes accountability. With accountability comes justice. I witness judges berate people when showing clear signs of mental illness. There should be court watching in every city and county across the nation. Court watching feels like taking care of each other. This could happen to any of us, any of you. All of us. Need to be participating. Justice is possible when we hold power accountable. Court Watch.